Shane is in Chicago. Hi, Shane. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you very much. Sure. What's up? So, I, as I grew up younger, I never wanted to spend any money. Um, I'm 27 years old right now. And that's, for some reason, that was just ingrained in my brain. If I didn't have the money, I couldn't spend it. So, Great. like I said, I'm 27. Uh, I'm debt free. I have $23,000 in IRA, thirty-five grand in a 401k, fifteen grand in another managed fund, and one hundred and three grand just in the bank. Cool. So, um, I just rent, uh, no kids, not married, and I'm wondering if I can buy a thirty-five thousand uh, dollar Honda that I've been researching for the past about years because i'm um i'm kind of researching is one me. month two years is lusting <laughs> yeah well i can't spend the money you know <laughs> i gotta do all my research well so how much do you make a year a uh, hundred okay all right chris you got a hundred and three thousand dollars in the bank it makes a hundred a year and you make a hundred a year shane um you can go get this car Okay. What's standing in yeah, the way? I'm, I'm, um, just not. I just don't want to let go of the money. Okay. <laughs> so you're I talking about a used one or a new one? Use it like. Uh, it's a new one, but it's it's. I don't know if you're familiar. It's a Type R. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they hold the, they hold their value pretty well. No, they don't. Like you. Nothing okay. holds its value yeah. with wheels and motors. They all go down in value. Yeah. They all go down. Yeah, I mean, I ten, do, ten I years from now, that, yeah. ten years from now, it's a cute little old car. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you, I mean, it's it's a rare car. It's a hard car to find. I bet used or new, for that matter. Um, I I really would buy a one year old one unless you're a millionaire. Okay. Yeah. But I, I, but I would I'm buy ex- one. Yeah. I could buy one used too, for sure. Yeah, if you could the buy one with ten or twelve thousand miles on it, some guy bought it, and then his wife said he can't have it anymore or something, and so yeah, he puts it up yeah. for adoption, uh, like a puppy. Yeah. The last thing I want to say is, yeah, I don't want to be because I I'm set myself so up to save so much. I don't want to be fifty years old and look back and be like, you know what, I should have just had a little bit of fun. Exactly. And bought that car, so exactly. that's what I don't want to regret. You're so. very wise. We teach people to teach their children and themselves to always, and Chris and I have met with athletes making $10, $20 million a year, and we tell them the same thing. There's three things you can do with money, and you should always do these three things. You should spend it Mm -hmm. and enjoy it, in other words. You should be outrageously generous, and you should save and invest it. Mm -hmm. And we try to get folks to do that, and sometimes we meet people who all they know how to do is spend it. Sometimes we meet people who all they know how to do is give it away. And sometimes we meet people, all they know how to do is save it, like you. Uh, and it's good to learn the other two skills, the generosity skill and the uh, – because it makes your life well-rounded. Uh-huh. And a good uh, – let me tell you yeah. how to do this uh, with uh, wisdom. And, Chris, what we do is we teach – that you, you can talk about this. We talk about the, uh, the ratios when we're dealing mm-hmm. with these athletes. That's right. And so looking at this, what I would tell you is in the ratios, the pie graph approach, Dave's right. The give, the save, the spend are absolutely imperative. And you've got to give yourself. I can hear the locked up in your voice about the thought of spending some money. Mm-hmm. And you've got to give yourself permission to be able to enjoy it. Uh, so it'll give you the joy of being able to give it as well. And so right now you got your fist just so tight. I want you to breathe. You're doing well for yourself. Put a percentage of your income on giving a percentage on investing mm-hmm. and a percentage on spending. It doesn't matter if it's 2%. Make yourself do something in all categories, okay? Yeah, okay. And then that'll keep you yeah, from having that 55-year-old I never lived my life regret, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready to finally enjoy some of my money versus all the hard work and budgeting so, I've been doing. So I think I'm what's ready. A, what's a one-year-old help. version of that car cost? Bad. Um, a, a new one t- right now is... A new one's 35. What's a one-year-old one cost? Uh, yeah, they're on the market for 32 to 35. Okay. All right. All right. So, so, so they're not taking a big hit the first year then. Okay, cool. How many years have they been making yeah. that car? Um, they started in 2017. 
Okay. So I've been looking at a 2017, but again, they're around 32 grand. Yeah. So I can't find yeah. anything less than that. Yeah, they got they got great lines. Mm-hmm. I mean, they they're just beautiful cars. Yeah, hunt that 2017 down, Shane, and get it. Well, or the 18 or the 19, either yeah. one. But yeah, I wouldn't buy brand new. We don't recommend that until you're a millionaire. Uh, but you know, you're in a position to spend that kind of money on a car because it's less than half your annual income. You can pay cash. And uh, I don't think yeah. there's any fear that you're somehow going to go to, <laughs> down a rabbit hole of spending. No. 